a tomato price hike, and infectious diseases from fish. We're breaking down the fact and fiction on claims you've been asking all week. First up, are tomato prices increasing? It's a claim we're seeing now that the Commerce Department ended a 1996 agreement between Mexico and the US. The agreement kept the US from charging Mexico extra for flooding the US market with lots of tomatoes and lowering their prices. Now, the US will impose a 17.5% tariff on Mexican tomatoes. But while experts agree it's likely this could lead to higher prices, it's not certain. While the agreement did it end, it has been renegotiated in the past, like in 2013, and it could be done again. So it's definitely true we are now putting a tariff on Mexican tomatoes, but it's not clear yet what the fallout will be. Next up, a question from viewer V. Lamott asking if eating tilapia can cause a virus called viral hemorrhagic septicemia. We checked it out with the Center for Food Security and Public Health at Iowa State. Viral hemorrhagic septicemia, or VHS, is a disease of fish. It's currently been detected in more than 50 species and can cause high fatality rates in the fish affected. It is a serious concern for a lot of fishers and institutes that monitor fish health. But the main question, can eating tilapia lead to the virus? No. Turns out VHS doesn't affect humans. We've got more information about the virus online, but any claims that eating tilapia could lead you to getting VHS are false. Folks, if you got any more claims or questions you want us to look into, send us an email. With your Verify, I'm Jason Puckett.